The countdown is on. The DJI Neo 2 is about to go global. After debuting in China and popping up in select markets like the Philippines, this sleek little drone is finally taking flight worldwide on November 13th. DJI has confirmed a full rollout across Europe, the UK, Canada, Brazil, and more, marking its biggest Neo release yet. The only mystery? The US launch. DJI is keeping fans guessing with a separate event teased for November 18th. While we wait, we've dug into every leak, launch detail, and first impression, so you'll know exactly what's coming. Let's talk design and build. At first glance, it looks similar to the original Neo, with its enclosed prop guard shell and palm-sized frame. But that's where the resemblance ends. The Neo 2 has been redesigned for both stability and style. Weighing 151 grams, it's slightly heavier than its predecessor, which actually helps it handle wind speeds of up to 10 meters per second. The redesigned propellers are quieter and more aerodynamic, giving it a smoother sound profile that's ideal for indoor shoots. A small front display offers quick feedback for battery and recording status. No need to constantly glance at your phone mid-flight. Powering the visuals is a two-axis gimbal paired with a new 4K 60 frames per second camera. Footage from this tiny machine looks surprisingly cinematic, with excellent detail and color accuracy. Even at 100 frames per second, 4K slow motion footage remains clean and stable, thanks to DJI's refined stabilization system. For a drone this size, it's an impressive leap forward. But the magic of the Neo 2 lies in how it flies. DJI equipped it with full omnidirectional obstacle sensing, front, back, sides, top, and bottom. It's nearly crash-proof, even if a beginner panics mid-flight. Gesture controls make takeoff and landing simple, while voice commands like start recording add a futuristic touch. Its AI follow system can track you at speeds up to 12 meters per second, automatically recognizing if you're walking, running, or cycling. Solo creators will love how effortlessly it keeps the subject in frame, allowing hands-free filming anywhere. Connectivity has also improved dramatically. Using just a phone, you can control it within a 100-meter range, but pair it with DJI's 04 system and you'll unlock up to 10 kilometers of stable, low-latency transmission. It's compatible with RCN3, RCN2, and RC2 controllers and plays nicely within the existing DJI ecosystem. Perfect for anyone already flying a Mini 5 Pro or Air 3. Battery life clocks in at about 19 minutes, and while the new Neo 2 batteries aren't backward compatible, they come with smarter designs and dual direction charging slots. Heat management has been improved, so you can push longer flights without thermal warnings cutting you short. The Neo 2 feels like a creator's drone disguised as a toy. It's compact enough for travel, quiet enough for indoor use, and smart enough to keep you out of trouble. Whether you're flying through an apartment, shooting inside a cafe, or capturing quick outdoor clips, this drone balances fun and function beautifully. Starting at around $570 USD, or $980 for the Fly More combo, it's not cheap for a beginner drone, but it's worth every cent for the experience it delivers. The Neo 2 isn't trying to replace high-end models like the Air 3 or Mavic 3. It's meant to complement them. For new pilots, it's the safest and most intuitive way to start flying. For veterans, it's a portable B-roll machine that fits in your palm. DJI's Neo 2 is less about power and more about confidence. It invites you to fly without fear, create without limits, and rediscover the joy of effortless aerial storytelling. If you've been waiting for the perfect drone to begin your flying journey, this is it. <laughs> the DJI Pocket 4 is shaping up to be one of DJI's most exciting upcoming launches, and fresh leaks straight from Shenzhen are adding serious fuel to the hype. A new report reveals that DJI employees have been spotted testing the Osmo Pocket 4 side-by-side -side with the Pocket 3 
in a local DJI store in China. It's not just a casual demo. These tests look like part of a pre-release evaluation to fine-tune performance before the big reveal. Rumors of the Pocket 4 started months ago, with drone insider Igor Bogdanov at Quadro News on X leaking hints of an NDA and promotional material allegedly filmed in Barcelona. Soon after, leaked images began circulating online, showing off what appears to be the Pocket 4's final design. On October 27, 2025, Sources confirmed that the Pocket 4 had officially entered production, setting the stage for an announcement between December 2025 and January 2026. Now, the Shenzhen leak gives us our clearest look yet at the upcoming camera. In the images, a DJI employee, or possibly a beta tester, can be seen comparing the new Pocket 4 directly with the Pocket 3, capturing low-light test footage in a realistic urban setting. The goal seems to be stress testing the upgraded camera sensor and stabilization in real-world environments. Design-wise, the Pocket 4 looks sleeker and noticeably slimmer than the Pocket 3, shedding the boxy profile for a more refined silhouette. The new model is said to weigh around 116 grams, roughly 35% lighter than its predecessor's 179 grams, making it more comfortable for extended handheld shooting. From what we can tell, DJI has refined the control layout beneath the screen, though details remain fuzzy due to the leak's image quality. As for release and pricing, insiders suggest the Pocket 4 will debut between December and January, priced around $699 to $799, with a possible Pro variant reaching $899. Meanwhile, the Pocket 3's price drop to $529 might tempt those who can't wait for DJI's next big pocket-sized powerhouse. The Pocket 3 was known for its rotatable screen and 1-inch sensor gimbal head, features that gave it power but also bulk. The new, streamlined Pocket 4 frame suggests DJI has re-engineered the device to optimize stability, comfort, and portability, perhaps shifting some components internally or using a lighter gimbal architecture. If this is true, DJI might finally have struck the perfect balance between pro-level capability and true pocket size design, what it all means. The appearance of a finalized safety and battery document is no small event. It indicates that DJI has moved past the conceptual phase into hardware testing, a stage that usually happens just months before launch. The reduced weight might represent a base model with a heavier pro variant, the one rumored to feature dual lenses and 8K video, coming later. Meanwhile, DJI is reportedly clearing out Pocket 3 inventory, hinting at preparation for the Pocket 4's arrival. Battery life could extend to around 180 minutes, with improvements to low-light performance and integrated audio systems. A clear message to rivals like Insta360, GoPro, and Vivo that DJI isn't stepping back from the compact camera race. So, while DJI remains silent, the leaks are speaking loudly. The Osmo Pocket 4 isn't just an upgrade. It's a signal that DJI's next leap in handheld innovation is already on the runway. Something small, sleek, and surprisingly powerful is coming. And this time, it might just redefine what pocket camera really means.